Hello everybody, this is Disha Dar here, and it's been quite a while since I've been gone, but I have exciting news. As you can see on the thumbnail um, that displays before you click the play button on this video, guess who decides to join the Air Force? Me! So it's been a long time coming, it's been quite a while, been over a year since I've been one, well since I've actually started the process of doing it with my recruiter, and I've it's been something I've been wanting to do since I was in ninth grade, and I'm now 20 years old, so that gives you a good scale on how long it's been. It's been half past forever. So, you know, it's definitely something that has caused my significant absence. Then again, I do tend to pop in and pop out of the internet every so often. I'll be here for a little bit then I'm gone for like two three months so it's right on schedule as far as my appearance reappearance is concerned so yeah I'm really excited about that so you know good thing about being in the Air Force is just that well for me personally I like the technological aspect you know I like the fact that because I'm really into like computers and things like that and I want a military job that's gonna translate well once I if I once slash if I decide to leave and go into the private sector something that'll translate well to that'll make me well allow me to be successful and allow me to be able to make something of myself you know because I don't want to have to struggle unnecessarily I don't I want to be able to get a good paying job you know doing something I really love doing and all that good stuff so it's definitely why I decided to go into the Air Force specifically and why I really like my job that I'm going well yeah I'm gonna have once I graduate basic so as of right now I am of course doing the studying as far as the rankings insignia the hierarchy all that good stuff that I need to learn the Air Force song and just a whole bunch of little tedious things that I need to learn while I'm in basic if I hope to survive anytime soon and of course comes the working out portion which is my least favorite since that means I have to run and I don't like running I like weightlifting I don't like running so I have to start jogging and whatnot and all that crap but hey it's for the rest so it is what it is do what I gotta do so you know um it's it's pretty good every thing right now it's been a lot of, a lot of delays but everything seems to be going well I leave March 11th so that's in two months two weeks and six days so the time is winding down very very quickly every day that passes is another day closer to making me to for me making my first step in my very young life only 20 got the whole world ahead of me so, you know, that's good. And it happens to be my, you know, everything coming together as far as the military is concerned. Soon after I did my little conversion, which was the final celebration of my converting from Wicca into paganism. And at the time, at first it was Wicca, and then transferred just to general paganism. So with that, you know... That you know, it's very good that um, happened in October eighth, which was the year anniversary, and a little while after that, which was what this November, last month, no, this month, you know. So two then two months later, bam, this whole thing the military is working out, which is very exciting in and of itself. So, you know, it's really good that I'm not only, not even fully realized, but. I know where I want to be in my life from a religious perspective, from a secular perspective. I know what I want to do and where I want to be. And, you know, it's just, you know, making that first step. As far as the secular aspect is concerned, me going to Lackland Air Force Base in Texas. And, no, in Texas. And then getting that whole mess sorted out as far as getting my everything prepared. The military have their way with me and all that good stuff so you know and it's also good that the Air Force itself actually acknowledges Wicca as uh well the armed forces in general acknowledges Wicca but it's good to see that well it's good that one um 
there are a lot more Wiccans in the Air Force. The Air Force has the most amount of Wiccans of any military branch, and it's good that they also have their chaplaincy. And even though I'm, I wouldn't consider myself as, as far as like if you walked up to me, I wouldn't say like, hey, the Shadar, what's your faith? I would say I'm an eco pagan. You know, my faith is more of the earth and whatnot. Wicca is the same thing. The only, the core difference between eco my uh, nature spirituality and Wicca itself is that Wicca has that occult aspect to it. And with my personal faith, I don't focus so much on the occult, you know. So, hey, it's just a thing to each their own. But, you know, my beliefs and whatnot, for the most part, like 70% of it, more or less, um, is identified, though not unique to Wicca. But it's just, you know, I guess it's just a game, a game of word. Of words, so, eh. but yeah. Anywho, so um, that's it's also good to do that. And when I was at base, well, not base. What am I talking about? I'm not there yet. When I was over at MEPTA Military Interest Processing Station, I actually had to put in. Uh, I was with this lady, and I actually had to put in, you know, what my faith was. And of course, it was already set as Wicca. And in her computer, for some reason, I don't know why, Wicca wasn't in it. Wicca wasn't part of it. Paganism wasn't part of it. Nothing. It was the tradition, the usual beliefs that you would expect to see Christianity, Buddhism, all that kind of stuff. And it was sad for me because, I mean, it doesn't matter because, as far as the military is concerned, it has Wicca. They acknowledge Wicca. They had the the uh, initials and everything so I don't have to worry about that that's just when I went to her I didn't have Wicca for some strange reason I don't know why so instead of putting no religious preference which I did not want to do I just decided to put other religious perspective of what not other religion so yeah because I don't want you know when I die I don't want it to have just a bare gravestone I want it to have a pentagram because you know I see that as you know the symbol for you know all of the universe pentagram it requires a lot more explanation than i'm giving right now but you know it's just the embodiment of the divine as far as you know spirit or this and the great spirits of earth wind earth air fire and water and of course spirit which i already spoke of so you know i think it's just the symbol to me personally is just the embodiment of it so i would like that on my gravestone you know i'm wearing it now which is here you know so it's just something i'd like to have on me so you know that's that and plus wicca itself if no other religion wicca as far as military is concerned as far as religious acknowledgement in the armed forces wicca is the only faith i could choose because they don't have eco-paganism because you know that can be seen in some respects in some ways as being part of wicca it's just wicca without the occultism that's really all it is and without the dual theism and without the occult aspect and without the dual theism so in all ways and forms as opposed it's just generally wicca period just uh, watered down form, I guess. But watered down make it seem like it's inauthentic. But anyway, time check eight fifty. So yeah, that's that. And the the oh, this was maddening. Like I didn't expect that to actually face it, let alone when I'm going to mess. But I faced it with the lady when I had to select the uh, religious um, religious preference, and it was like when. Uh, I was looking for the Wicca uh, initials, which was W-I. And I was like, okay, look at all at the bottom of the list. It should have it there. It's like, no, they don't have it. And as uh, she was scrolling up, I was looking for, like, a P-N for Pagan or something. And then she was like, huh, what is Wicca? And then she whispered. So, you know, it's like, it, it was just like... One of those reactions that you would expect for someone who's uninformed, which isn't, which is bad and in and of itself, but, uh, so she was like, Wicca, and then she went down to a whisper, isn't that witchcraft? 
And I was like, oh, good gods almighty, I swear, to the highest. I was like, yes, but, you know, my personal belief, I, you know, Wicca, Wiccans don't all practice the whole witchcraft thing. There are some people who do it, and there are other forms and other Wiccans who celebrate more of the secular aspect. As far as concerns nature and the seasons and cycles of it, and seeing the deity within all of the universe. I didn't say that verbatim, but that's the rough translation of what I said. And then, it was, you know, just to take it off, take that little edge off, because you could tell from her reaction, oh my god, witchcraft? That's bad! It, <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh goodness, I actually encountered a highly misinformed person. And even. Beyond being misinformed and not really knowing what it was, which I can't hold against her because she didn't know in the first place. She just went off what other people told her. And unless you have a vested interest in, of course, you're not going to really uh, research it. So I can't hold that against her. But still, just the reaction was quite funny. But yeah. So after I leave, well, after I graduate basic training, and after I leave tech school, I'll go ahead and get start my job because basic military training is just to get the basics of what it means to be a member of the armed forces specifically for me at least being in the air force and then tech school is just so I can primarily learn what my job will be and get that get some mastery in it and then after tech school that's when I start my job you know get the base where I'm supposed to go wherever location and then from there I'll just go ahead and start my job and from there I'll also you know, I'll try and figure out what I want to do as far as being a pagan in the military. Would I rather be out and actually be public about who I am or is it something I want to keep private for the most part? I personally would rather not hide an aspect of who I am, especially when it's an important aspect of who I am. But, you know, that remains to be seen. I just have to wait. But, you know, I'm not going to hide who I am, but I'm not going to be loud about it. I'm um, like shouting it from the rooftops because... That's not who I am, even now. I don't shout it from the rooftops. Okay, maybe a little bit right now, but when I get in the military, I'm definitely not going to be doing that as much, you know. I'll still keep my blog, my blogs open, my Tumblr blog, dshadar.tumblr.com, and my blogger uh, blog, which would be dshadar.blogger.com, or Blogspot, one of those. And I'll still keep making videos for you guys, updates and everything. So, you know, it's not like I'm going to be gone forever. I'm just going to be gone for a while. You know, I'll slip in a blog post or whatnot if, I, if I'm if i able to, you know. But I'm not going to go out of my way because I still have an important job that I need to do for myself, for my life, and for my country as well. So, you know, it's still got two months two weeks and six days to enjoy my presence and my posts and my opinions and all that good stuff so I hope that you guys will stay interested and stay very updated and everything so again thank you for watching my video I'd like to thank you for watching subscribe to this channel like I said my blogger tumblr all that good stuff get his cereal so yeah have a good day and Wish me luck.